Food is the bloodline of any society. It is therefore inevitable that food reserves are set up to enable food security after each farming season. In 1995, the Zambian government established the Food Reserve Agency, FRA, to serve the purpose of preserving national food security by maintaining a sustainable and strategic food reserve. FRA was established under Section 3 of the Food Reserve Act, Cap Number 225 of the Laws of Zambia, repealed and now continued under Section 3 of the Food Reserve Act Number 6 of 2020 and derives its mandate from Section 5 of the Act. The Eastern Province is among the major contributors to the food basket in Zambia. The Minister of Agriculture, the board chairman of the Food Reserve Agency, visited the province in the early part of 2023 to establish availability of grain and how FRA has been working with the local millers. Mindazi has remained uh, one of the biggest uh, contributors to food security in this nation. We are doing well. I think for the last five years, we have been doing well in terms of production. We're equally happy that um, your institution has managed to buy from our small-scale farmers for all these past years. Last year's um, uh, marketing season went very well. Uh, we don't owe any farmer any monies, so I want to thank you that you were able to pay the farmers uh, timely. We hope this can continue equally this year. So we are where we are seated here. We have 32,000 metric tons of maize. That as food reserve agents, we have sufficient maize stocks to last this country up to the next harvest season. We are sitting on 300,000 metric tons of maize. We are fairly safe as a country. We have quite uh, enough stock of maize and we are thinking uh, with that stock we can actually sustain the rest of this year. We can even, I think, afford to give others. The quantities which we have in Eastern Province, and these quantities, are, they are made up of um, the stock from as far back as 2019, 2020, 2021, 2022. What we have is uh, in all Eastern Province, it's 116,520 metric tons. It's a huge quantity of maize. This maize is still outside, and all these sheds in Rundazi, they are full. In Shipata, the, the sheds are full to capacity. From the full and mentioned statistics, the Minister of Agriculture further toured the major millers in the province to monitor and evaluate how the management of grain was being distributed by FRA. Honorable Mutolo also cautioned millers to remain faithful to the supply of maize from government distributed through FRA. The maize has started coming onto the market. Yes. Please, colleagues, Mr. Kans, yes, please let us buy sufficient stock for our plant. This issue where we are making FRA, the holding depot for millers, is a bit uncomfortable. A plant should manage its own production raw material. A new entry onto the milling market in Lundazi is an example of a local miller that is producing to satisfy the local market. This comes with the support of FRA. If we have got stable power, our production capacity is about 30 tons mm. a day, which will bring us something like maybe 900 to about 1,200 bags of breakfast meal mm. every day. Mm. We have about 50 members of staff mm. in the whole factory. We have received quite very, very good support from the Food Reserve Agency uh, from the time we started. We are covering about four districts, that's Chama, Chasefu, Undazi, and Lumezi. The minimum prices have really stabilized. Here at the factory, we only supply to the registered retailers. He's right in saying that we are covering four districts. So Chama is coming to buy from here, as well as Lumezi, Chasefu, and Lundazi itself. We are able to offload around 1,000 bucks, 900 to 1,000 bucks, on a daily basis. To see a Zambian like him image, is a good thing. So kudos, Thank you. Dr. Mutonga. Previously, we used to face challenges because there was no any company making milling here in Dazi. But with the coming of Katungu milling, Katungu milling company, at least the problem has been reduced. Other millers based in Chipata have also been working with the support of the Food Reserve Agency to ensure 
the steady supply of millimil on the market. They have supplied us consistent uh, maize and we have received the maize very consistently with no problems at all. And we are milling, we are milling 150 tons in a 24 hour shift, sufficient enough for the supply in the market. We do deliveries to Petauke, Sinda, Kateti, right up to Luangwa, Nimba and all those towns, up to Lundazi. We cover there when we are sending, we maintain a quantity of 500 to 600 bags or an entire truckload, because obviously it is not affordable to send 100 bags into those uh, areas. FRA has a stock to give to the millers. I'm happy that you are speaking to Kwacha Milling here and they are confirming that they have received continuous supply of grain as requested. The board chairman of the Food Reserve Agency encouraged not only the districts in Eastern Province, but the country at large to establish more local milling units, especially through resident investors, to ensure sufficiency. Under the New Dawn uh, government, uh, there is a deliberate policy to support the setup of district uh, millers. We have seen uh, the impact that a district miller has, and the Lundazi is a case in point. We, we want to appeal, uh, you know, as FRA to local entrepreneurs uh, in Zambia. Let us have a lot of district millers, because what is pushing the price of minimum in most of these districts is that the minimum is having to move from one area to another district. So if each district can have two to three millers, I will tell you we'll be able to arrest this situation uh, going forward. Other concerns in the province are issues to do with cross-border trading, especially during crisis periods. The millers felt that if trade across the border is controlled, there would always be a steady and sufficient supply of maize meal. If we have to take charge and control on this cross-border millimil movement, I'm sure Eastern Province can be enough for the new harvest to be on the market. We have Zambia National Service uh, managing to monitor the border. So on issues of smuggling, we do not have uh, many cases. The local uh, leadership here is doing a, an incredibly good job in making sure that they keep uh, smuggling. Our interest is the heavily subsidized maize at production, heavily subsidized maize at storage, which we are giving them. We are giving them maize at 200 kwacha. If we find any miller doing that, and we get that report, and they are being monitored, we are going to stop giving them the FRA maize. The Food Reserve Agency secures and stores grain on behalf of government for the country's strategic reserves and to ensure that Zambia remains food secure and also that millers are supplied with high quality maize for a steady production of the country's staple crop. FRA is a national strategic reserve agency. To come in in times of hardship, in times of need, in times of disasters. So please, as we get into the new harvest, let us offer the farmer a good price. We want to come and find stacks here. FRA remains steadfast in supply maize to the various groups in society, such as schools and communities in a systematic manner, making Zambia's principal food available for a healthy and productive nation. We also sell maize to communities. Members of the community can come to FRA and buy a bag of maize. You take it to Chigai, you grind.